Jasmine Tarai. Micro teaching. Good morning, children. Everybody, please stand up as we start our class with an opening prayer. Let us bow our heads and feel the holy presence of God as we pray. And in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, thank you for this new day, a new day to learn. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for our friends and family who is with us always. This all we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, class, good morning. Okay, how was your day today? Very good. Before you take your seat, can you pick up the pieces, pieces of paper under your chair? And you may take your seat. Okay. So before we start a formal discussion, let us check your attendance first. But before that, um, instead of saying present, um, just say a word that you are thankful for. Okay, class, understand? Okay. Just say Family. Mark. One teacher. Edward. My mom teacher. Antoinette. Mom teacher. Okay, very good class. Everybody is present. So let's give ourselves a big round of applause since all of you is present. Okay, before we begin to our class discussion for today, who can recall what we have tackled yesterday? Yes, Giselle. We tackled about the different kinds of plants, teacher. Very good, Giselle. Let's give a round of applause to Giselle. Okay, class. So, do you want to play a game? Okay, that's great. Do you know the game crossword? Okay, very good. So, who wants to answer? Me, yes, teacher. More. Me, okay. teacher. Yes, Giselle. Me, teacher. Okay. Yes, Anna. Okay. Me, yes, teacher. Edward. Okay. Yes, Anna. Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, I guess it's uh, so. Let's check your answer. We have here the roots, the stem, the leaves, the fruits, and the flowers. So, all of that are part of our next topic. So, before we start our next topic, um, I will play you a video that will help you um, understand or have an uh, idea what we are going to tackle today. So I want everybody to listen, watch the video so that you will have an idea. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Fruit stem leaves, flower fruits and seed, these are the parts of the plant. Fruit stem and leaves, flower fruits and seeds, these are the parts of the plant. Roots get the nutrients from the soil, stem brings the nutrients to all the parts. Leaves cook the food, flowers reproduce, and become fruits that make the seed. Root stab and leaves, flower fruits and seeds, these are the parts of the plants. Root stab and leaves, flower fruits and seeds, these are the parts of the plants. Okay class, based on the 
review that you have watched, who has an idea what we are going to tackle today? Me, Mom. Yes. Parts of the plant, yes, Mom. Yes, very good class. We are going to tackle about the parts of plants, how to take care of plants, and also why plants are important to humans. Okay. Uh, before we jump into our discussion for today, I will read to you our learning objectives. So at the end of the lesson, students are expected to identify the parts of plant and its function, label the parts of plants, and appreciate the importance of plants in our life and how to take care of plants. But class, in order for us to attain these learning objectives, I want you to listen, listen attentively, um, participate in our activity, and you must behave so that we can attain this learning objectives okay do you know class that the plants are classified into two parts no okay don't you worry because teacher is here to help you understand and know it okay class so listen carefully okay plants are classified into two parts these are the root system and the shoot system what is again class? Shoot system and root system. Yes, class. Very good. You listen attentively. Okay. First, the root system is located below the ground and responsible for absorbing water and minerals. Um, it includes um, roots, tubers, and rhizomes. What is again class? Roots. Tubers and rhizomes, ma'am. Okay, next we have the shoot system. What is it, class? Shoot system. Yes, very good. The shoot system is located above the ground and helps make the food uh, by the process of photosynthesis. Um, it includes the stem, the leaves, the flowers, and the fruits. Okay. So class, uh, what does two shoot system and root system teacher? Okay, very good class. Okay, class, it's now time to know the different parts of plants. We have here the roots, the stem, the leaves, the flower, and the fruits. Okay, class, after knowing the parts of the plants, let's us now move on to the function of parts. But when I say marry me, I want everybody of you to follow me, whatever I say and do, to describe the function of plants. Is it clear, class? Yes, very good. Let's start from the roots. Mirror me. The roots grow under the ground and get water from the ground. Let's do it again. The roots grow under the ground and get water from the ground. Very good. So now let's move on to the stem. Okay, mirror me. The stem supports one another. Let's do it again. The stem supports one another. Very good. Now let's move on to the leaves. Mirror me. The leaves are typically green that grow from the stem. Let's do it again. The leaves is typically green and grow from the stem. Very good, class. Okay, how about the flowers? Okay, mirror me. The flower are brightly colored, which seeds and fruits develop. Let's do it again. The flower are brightly colored, which seeds and fruits develop. Very good, class. Lastly, the fruit. Mirror me. The fruit is part of the plant which has seed 
on it. Let's do it again. The fruits are parts of the plant which has seed on it. Very good class. All right, very good class. The different five parts of plants are the roots, the stem, the leaves, the flowers, and the fruits. Okay, very good class. You all know it. Okay, class, always remember that we should be thankful for God for giving us plants that help us look our surroundings beautiful and give us food like fruits and vegetables. So, do you know why plants are important to us human class? Yes, very good. That's right, class. Plants give us a shelter, food, and medicine, and etc. So now, class, that we are, we all know that plants are important to us. So we have to love and take care of them. But class, do you know how to take care of plants? Okay, today we will also know how to take care of plants. Are you ready, class? Okay, that's great. First, we have pulling the weeds. Okay. Okay, what is the first one, class? Pulling the weeds. Yes, very good. When weeds grow faster than your vegetables or plants, they begin to block out the sun that your garden plants need to thrive. Okay. Okay, what is the first one, class? Pulling the weeds. Yes, very good. The second one is putting the plant under the sunlight. Putting the plant under sunlight. Without the sun, plants wouldn't get the necessary food needed to grow, reproduce, and survive. They should get direct sun for at least six hours a day. Okay, what is it? Putting class? the plant under sunlight. Yes, very good. Now, the third one is watering the plants. Watering the plants. Water helps a plant by transporting important nutrients through the plant. Nutrients are drawn from the soil and used by the plant. Without enough water in the cells, the plants droop. So water helps a plant to stand. What is the third one, class? Watering the plants. Yes, very good. And now, for the fourth one, we have cultivating the soil. Cultivating breaks up the crusty soil surface, allowing for much easier penetration of air, nutrients, and water deep. What is the fourth one, class? Cultivating the soil. Yes, very good. And for the last one, we have... Putting some fertilizer. Fertilizers are food for plants. Fertilizers replace the nutrients that crops remove from the soil. Without the addition of fertilizers, crop yields and agricultural productivity would be significantly reduced. And what is the last one, class? Putting some fertilizer. Yes, very good. Now that you know how to take care of plants, I hope that you will apply it to your home. Okay, class. For your activity, I will show you a picture of parts of plants and you will have to identify the appropriate function of each parts of the plants. Understand, class? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's great. I will call some names to answer it on the board. Who wants to answer? Me, teacher. Yes, Mark. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Giselle. Teacher. Okay. Yes, Anna. Okay. Me, teacher. Yes, Edward. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Antoinette. Okay, very good class. You got all the correct answer. I really believe that you have um, understand our topic well. 
So class, now I will show you picture if you really understand our topic about how to take care of plants. Okay, you will identify if that picture say uh, the right thing to do or the wrong one to do. Okay, understand class? Yes, teacher. Okay. For the first picture, what makes it bright? He put water in his plants, teacher. Yes, very good, class. For the, for the second picture, what makes it wrong? She destroys a plant's teacher. Yes, very good, class. For the third picture, what makes it bright? He put some fertilizer, teacher. Yes, very good, class. For the fourth picture, what makes it wrong? They spill some tea, teacher. Very good, class. For the last picture. They put the plants under the sunlight. Very good, class. All of you got the correct answer. You really understand our topic for today. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Very good, class. Okay, so class, now you know how to take good care of plants. I want to um, ask a question why plants are important to us humans. Yes, Sheena. Plants gives us food that we eat, teacher. Yes, very good, Sheena. How about... Antoinette? It gives us shelter, teacher. Yes, very good, Antoinette. How about it's yourself? Medicine, teacher. Very good, class. All of you got the correct answer. So, we must have to take care of plants because they give us food, shelter, medicine, and etc. Okay, class, do you understand? Okay, very good. So, class, now let's have another activity called Correct Me. Okay, what is it? Yes, I will show. I will be showing you some pictures uh, of how to take care of plants. Then you have to correct it and apply it to the plants I will give in to you. Okay, understand, class? Okay, now let's start. Very good, class. You all doing great in taking care of plants. Now, let's give ourselves a very good clap. Do you know what is very good clap, class? Okay, here it goes. One, two, very good. One, two, very good. One, two, three, very good, very good, very good. Okay. Okay, again, class, what are the five parts of plants? The roots, stem, leaves, fruit, and flower, teacher. Very good, class, you got it right. Now, why are plants important to humans? Yes, Mark. It gives us food, shelter, and oxygen, teacher. Very good, let's give Mark a round of applause. Okay. What are some ways to take care of plant class? Anybody? Yes, Antoinette. Pulling the leaves. Very good. Yes, Giselle. Pulling the plant. Very good. Yes, Anna. Fertilize. Very good. Yes, Edward. Very good. How about you, Antoinette? Very good, class. You really did a great job in listening to your teacher. Okay, for your activity, Assignment Direction Apply the ways in taking care of plants. In those plants you have at home, take some pictures put in one bond paper and explain it in three sentences. Okay class, everybody please stand up for our closing prayer. Let us bow our heads and feel the holy presence of God as we pray. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the all together, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Goodbye, class. Goodbye. Okay, thank you.